transparency tool can be located in the toolbox and it's in this icon here okay so it's the last icon there transparency now what is the basic of transparency if I have an object here which is filled with a green color and then if I click on my transparency tool and I click and drag my slider up it will then make a transparent fill so the transparent is different from the gradient fill this is not a gradient fill from uh, green to white it is actually a transparency if I'm going to move this to my uh, image here and you can see that it is really transparent and it's not gradient so that's how you do it in a vector image like this. Now you can also do transparency in, in a photograph. So you click on the photograph and then you click on your trans interactive transparency tool and then you click and drag up or down or wherever direction you want to go. And if you notice here, the transparency starts from there. Okay? That can be done in in uh, yeah, in photographs too. I'm going to undo this. If you want to remove the transparency, you click on the object that the transparency was applied and then click on this button here for clear transparency. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here, I've got um, uh, two objects here. Uh, my photograph and this one, my a box. Now, my problem here is I'm going to make a poster, let's say I'm going to make a poster and I want to extend the color of or the sky going up, okay? But I'm limited because it's already cropped here. So you can use the transparency tool to make a fake uh, fading effect of the sky, okay? So first, what you're going to do is you're going to zoom in and go to the tip of the photograph, the top of the photograph, and get a sample uh, color by going to your eyedropper tool and click on this color there okay and you notice when I click on it in the status bar it says here those are my RGB values so so uh, the that color is already stored in my in my uh, eyedropper so what I'm going to do I'm going to hold on shift and I'm going to fill this rectangle rectangular box that I just did click and there you go okay so now the I'm not really happy about it because it doesn't really blend to the background color or the box color right so what I'm going to do I'm going to put a transparency effect just on the top part of the picture so I click on the image I go to my transparency tool interactive transparency tool and click and drag going up just that portion of it there and then instantly there's no seam anymore it's like it's one whole picture even though you zoom in you really don't see the line and if you if you do see a line you can always adjust your interactive transparency by clicking on this one here and uh, yeah and there you go that, so that's one way of using the transparency uh, the transparency also can be uh, can also be be applied into the text. Okay, so for example, I'm going to make the text white. Okay, so make that white, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to stylize it by clicking on my shape tool. Okay, and I'm going to change the spacing between the text by clicking on the icon here and moving it to the left side. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my interactive transparency, okay? But while, while I'm there, I want you to look at the property bar here. You, this is the uh, properties of the, of the transparency. Then you can choose which one you want. We always did a linear transparency with a slider, right? You can make it uniform by clicking on the uniform, and there you go. It's the uniform transparency here. And then what I'm going to do, because I don't see the, the individual letters, okay, so it doesn't read school, 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it down. Go to arrange, break artistic text. Okay. And there you go. So that each individual will have a diff, I mean, a, a, a transparency, a different transparency because it overlaps. Okay. And let's see it from afar. Or can I zoom out? There you go. Just see it. Okay. Very easy to do in Corel draw. Okay, another great way to use the transparency tool is when you want to put a text on top of an image of a brochure or a poster. Like for example here, if I want to put this text on top of, of a photograph and it's not really uh, you can't really read it because of the contrast of the text and the background so some of the graphic designers they put a frosted background I mean a frosted box into the image and make it white transparent okay so what I did I made a rectangle here and I'm going to put it in here on top of the text of the of the image Actually, I already applied the transparency, but okay. So let's say that's my planned box that I'm going to put. I'm going to make it white, okay. But I want to to make it a little bit transparent so that I can so that the photograph will see through. Okay, I'm going to stylize this first by going to your shape tool or F10 and click and drag and set. Yeah. Now I'm going to apply transparency. I click on my transparent C tool. And here in the property, I go to Uniform Fill. There you go. And you can also uh, change the transparency by, by going to the slider here. And if you notice, it changes. Okay. Let's say I'm happy with that one. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this on top of the transparent box. There. Now, you're not limited with white. You can always change the color of the of your yeah of your box but another stick with it that's it now the transparency tool can also be used to blend two photographs i've got two photographs here and it's the same height so i can really blend it together so that you know you think it's not in different software Okay, anyway, uh, you click on the first object or the first photograph and overlap it to, you see it's overlapped, overlap it to the second image, right? So what I want you to do is you click on any of those images, but I think it's best if you click on the image that's on top of, you know, the very top um, image, which is this one, and you go to your transparency tool and you click and drag to the left. And it really depends upon how would you like the blending to go. Okay. So make sure you don't see the blending. Okay. And just in case you see a little bit, like for example here, there's a little bit of blending, you click on the image and just move it to the left side. Okay. And you can fine tune the transparency. Very nice too. This is one of my favorite transparency and look at it now it's like in one one photograph now another use of the transparency tool is when you make um, you know a vector illustration to be more realistic so like here um, this one doesn't have the transparency it's just pure color and then the other one has uh, transparency on top. Now, how did I do this one? If you take a look at this one, I'll move it over here. See that? That's a transparency that was that was made on top of the image. Okay. It's the same vector, but I put transparency on top of it. A dark shade of transparency. Anyway, I'm going to delete that and I'm going to uh, do a demo here. 
So right now I have a vector image or illustration of the of the uh, the box. And so what I'm going to do here, I have to make separate uh, separate uh, uh, boxes for you know areas that I have to put transparency. Okay, uh, I already did this in the tutorial. The Smart Fill it's a great tool because if you look at it here, if I go to Smart Fill, uh, Smart Fill, and click here. So I can isolate the uh, the vector boxes. Okay, it doesn't matter the color because what I'm going to do here, I'm going to hold on Shift to select all the areas that I just did. Click, click. I'll move it here just to make sure it is okay. Control Z to undo. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the outline by going to outline none. And I'm going to choose a dark color. Let's say this one here. Okay. Now I'm just, see I move it. Okay, and do. So that those uh, objects are on top of each other uh, of the of the actual drawing. Okay. So now I'm ready to to do transparency. I'm gonna do it one at a time. So for example, here click on this image. I um, mean that box, and I go to my transparency tool. And then I click and drag. Okay. First, I'm just going to make it random, and then later on I can fine tune it. So click on the image, I mean the uh, the yeah the object, and then just like this. Click here, go here. Okay, and then I can fix it later. But you can see that it's it's different now. It's more realistic now than the than just the plain. Here and go like that. Okay. Then now I can fine tune it. I'm going to fine tune that. So let's say I don't want really lots of shading in here, so I go to my transparency tool and I'm just going to move the slider there. I think that's that's good enough. And I click here, it's too much of a shading there. I'm going to drag the thing inside. Click here, I'm not really happy with that. Actually, that one should have a shadow underneath it. There, and click on this box. Make it there. That's fine. Click this one. I'm going to move it a little bit, and I'm just going to move it there. So you get the concept of making it realistic. Now that looks realistic than the first one that we just did without the transparency. Very nice. Okay, another use of the transparency tool is to make reflections. It's a very useful tool to make reflections. Right now I have a box here and I want to make it realistic. I'm gonna put reflections here. I'm pretty sure you've seen some ads with reflections. And you can you can use it in both vector and photographs. But in this demo I'm going to do vector. I know this is a vector, it's a vector, right? Indeed. These are all vectors and also the background's vector too. Okay, so I click on my my box here, okay, and in your keyboard, uh, click on the plus sign to make a duplicate without an offset. Put it there. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag it down. Okay. Okay, and click this one and the plus sign and then move it down here. Click and drag it down there. Okay. But I still have to fix some things because like for example here it doesn't, it has to connect to that one. So you go to your shape tool and you can always connect it. Okay. You click this one and then also connect it to the next one. Okay. And so now what I'm going to do, I'm have to fix this a little bit because it shouldn't show any gaps in it. That's good enough. Now the only thing I have to do now is to do the transparency. So I click on my transparency tool and I click and drag. See that? See how easy it is? Click on this part too and click and drag. Very nice and very easy to do. 
and you really can see the difference between the box with the reflection and without the reflection. Yeah. You can also do that with photo dots uh, in, in one of my tutorials. I'm going to show you how to do it uh, with photo dots. But see the transformation. Very nice. Very elegant.